Hey, hey, what's going on there, ladies and gentlemen? Monster Man Vapes coming back to you, and welcome to episode 11 of the Pre Made Wire slash Coil Review Series. So, the coils, or should I say, the Pre Made Wire that I'm going to be reviewing in this video is Lightning Vapes Fuse Clapton Wire. Now, some of you might be thinking, Monster Man, you've already reviewed their wire, especially their Fuse Clapton Wire, so why are you reviewing again? Well, Lightning Vapes' Fuse Clapton Wires are ranged from different gauges and different wire materials such as Canthal, Stainless Steel, Nichrome Midi, and here recently they have been working with Nichrome 90. Now to give you guys a bit of a lesson, Nichrome 90 tends to ohm out lower than Nichrome 80. So please be careful when working with Nichrome 90. I will get into more of that as the video progresses. So for right now, let's dive down the table and take a closer look at this wire. See how clean it is, how easy it is to wrap. You know the whole deal. Let's do it. Alright guys, so here's a spool of the Lightning Vapes Fuse Clapton Wire. As you can see, here are the gauges that are used to make the wire. 26, 36, Fused. This is a 25 foot spool. And as you can see, Nichrome 90, Nichrome 90. So this is entirely made out of Nichrome 90. So here is a look at the wire here. I don't see any odd twists, no kinks in the wire. Wraps look very, very clean. No scuffs, no spaces, nothing. So, so far, this is looking pretty good for this review. So, the next step will be to see how it wraps. So, here I got my three millimeter screwdriver, and we're going to go for six wraps one, two, three, four, five, six. Give it that 90 right there, and She's got a hint of springiness, just a hint, if any at all. It might have been the way I wrapped it, but this thing is not very springy whatsoever. So I went ahead and got the second one wrapped off of camera, and now the next step will be to pre-cut these leads to proper lengths and install them into an RDA. And the RDA I'm using today will be the Drop Dead. So here I got my coils, let's put them in. Alright folks, so now that we got the coils glowing from the inside out, wicked and juiced, it's time to bring it up to the FaceTime, talk to you a little bit more about this wire, and see how it vapes. Alright guys, we're back up top here with the N90 Fuse Clapton wire. So, six wraps on a three millimeter. That is generally what I use when I use this kind of wire. Now, I have reviewed this wire in the past as far as its Canthal version. Now, the six wraps on a three for that particular wire, the Canthal version, ohmed out between roughly a 0.2 to a 0.22, somewhere in that range. Not too low, basically what I would think would be the proper resistance for your average vapor. I've also used the N80 version, which usually ohms out between a 0.17 and a 0.18, so a little bit lower in resistance, even though it's the same amount of wraps on the same size of screwdriver. However, Nichrome 90 is a whole different ball game, because six wraps on a three, and what did it ohm out to? 0 0.10. So much lower in resistance as to the Canthal or the Nichrome 80 version. I mean, think about it. You have 26, 36 Canthal fused collapsed and 6 wraps on the 3 being a 0.22 for a dual coil build. 
as to a 0 0.10 of the same size of wire, same amount of wraps, or the same size of screwdriver, it just happened to be Nichrome 90. So that is a very big difference as far as resistance. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, please be careful when using this wire, as you can see the solid difference in lower resistance. Canthal 0.22, Nichrome 90, down here at a 0.1 even. But the question is, how does it vape? Well, let's have a go. I forgot to mention that the mod that I'm using is the Vupu X217 and I got 115 watts. Now I do generally vape around a 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.12 ish and generally I know that on a 0 0.10 ohm build 115 watts is pretty far below 4.2 volts. The X217 is reading it at 3.51 volts and the ramp up time is still almost non-existent. Vapor production is quite impressive, especially for this kind of wire, as, as far as the size of it. As you saw, those coils were not very big, but yet the vapor production is still immense. The flavor is pretty nice too, I got to admit. No ramp up time, decent flavor. Well, I wouldn't say decent, it's good flavor. It's definitely better than decent, it's good flavor. It's not crazy in your face flavor, but it's still pretty good flavor. Now, I did purchase this on Lightning Vapes website and I paid roughly $12 for the spool wire. $12 for a 25 foot spool, in my opinion, is not a bad price. Especially if you take good care of your coils, if take good care of them and not let them gunk up too much and cause any type of rusting or erosion or any of that stuff. A set, a dual coil set should last you quite some time and you got 25 feet to work with so not a bad deal in my opinion. The only con I really have for this is the fact that since it ohms out so low you have to be careful. 0 0.10 on a 6 wrap if you do a 5 wrap, obviously it's going to be, you know, I'm thinking about 0 0.08, 0 0.09, somewhere in that range. All in all, good wire. I actually do recommend this one. But that does it for this episode of the Pre-Made Wire slash Coil Review Series, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Come join the family, folks. I love you all. So, as always, until next time, Monster Man Vapes, signing off.